throw someone in the ocean who can't swim. And you just watch them. Dude, I don't care who they are, but they don't know any jujitsu. They start fighting with Halak now or one of us. There's a certain like, what, where am I? I've never even experienced this. What is this? It's like you're in a, a world and you can't even see anything. You can't smell anything. You can't feel anything. So you're getting strangled. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's so fascinating. Like I said, you know, a, a guy with no boxing skills can show up at a boxing gym and rock someone if he just swings at the swings for the for the fences. You know what I'm saying? But you can't really do that here. You know what I mean? You're gonna come in here. And it's like, uh, it's like sitting down at a chessboard and having never even moved one of the pieces. And no one ever even told you how to move those pieces. They don't even know how to use their arms, their legs, their body weight, nothing. They have no sense. So it isn't even really fair. So obviously it's prevalent because of Hoist's victories and the success of Hoist in the first couple UFCs and people seeing that, man, Jiu-Jitsu against every martial art poses a threat. So if you know any martial art and you don't know jujitsu, you're in danger. Just by gravity's sake, you're gonna end up on the ground. So jujitsu is the idea of, hey, let's assume that we're gonna be on the bottom almost and work our way up to then understanding how to control the top and how to catch an arm lock. You could say that Hollywood made it seem like you want this perfect distance right. and you stay standing forever. And then reality is that what he said, the fight will go to the ground. So we just said, you know what, let's perfect the ground. And let's just take the fight there immediately because the world's not ready for the ground, but we are.